Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn something very special and that can result in saving hours of your time. Basically, today's tutorial is related to Adobe InDesign and using the Adobe InDesign, uh, we can do some wonderful things uh, out of this. One is that that during your entire career, you must have come across such situation where you have to design the certificates or business card that can consist of almost hundreds and thousands of data cells, data cells so what you need to do you have to replace the text with some new content some new numbers some new website some new location or whatever in terms of certificate obviously you have to change the name of the candidate but with just some small consideration in adobe indesign you can create hundreds or thousands of business card certificates or any other thing in which only small modification is required and all can be done within a matter of minutes and can be saved in the pdf jpgs or whatever so just for the for the understanding i have created a business card in adobe indesign and as you can see there are some fields and we what we expect that we need to change the content of these fields okay so for example you have all the all the content in an excel file this is a dummy data and you need to change the data on each business card that seems to be very much time consuming so now let's get started this is the indesign file of the business card so basically you have all the data in an excel file so first of all what you need to do you have to transform this excel file into csv file because the adobe indesign understand the csv file not the excel file Okay, so save as and from here you can see the comma delimited format that is the CSV format and just save it. Okay, once saved, close this CSV file. Now in Adobe InDesign, what we what, what you have to do, you have to go to window panel, utilities, and data merge. From in this data merge panel, you have to select the data source. Basically, this is the source from where the content will be imported in the Adobe InDesign and that is our book one CSV file. So as you can see that all the columns that were in the CSV file that is the name, designation, content, number, email, location, everything gets imported in the Adobe InDesign. Now what you have to do, you just need to place this on name, okay? The designation and the designation portion, content num contact number, email, and location and you have to remove the original data that was written so it and leave the fields like that so your fields should look something like that okay now time to see the magic go to the preview option and you can see that the first field that was in the excel file is updated now we move to the second now we move to the third, we move to the fourth. As you can see that all the content that was in this CSV file is automatically get, getting updated and we can just create number of PDFs or whatever format you, that you prefer within a matter of minutes. So that was pretty easy, but was a very time saving uh, trick. So let's move on. What if we have to incorporate the image and we want the image to be replaced as well? And as in some cases in the business cards, normally the uh, images are also placed. So the good thing is that that the data merge panel also offers this option. Okay, let me tell you uh, something more. You what you need to do? Go to Excel file. Okay, now for incorporating the images create a new new uh, column that is the image colon at the rate image and in these cells you have to uh, add the link of the image where the images are placed for example uh, I, by selecting this cell you have to go to go to insert link and just for example i have selected one image Once you have done that, just save the file in the CSV format as we did earlier. Or you can also make changes to the CSV file as well and just save it. Okay, so both options are there. 
now we have the updated csv file okay just close that go to adobe indesign open the same file okay update the modified links because we have updated the csv file now you can see that there is another option of the image has been popped up okay so what we need to do when we need to update the images okay from here select the rectangle frame and draw a rectangle frame here okay and just put the image here okay and in the same way that we discussed earlier just remove that okay the name field okay now again press preview and you can see each and every content is getting updated with the images now be it 50 cards 100 cards 1000 cards or 5000 cards you do not you do not need to update the content of each and every business card and then save it individually okay and the good thing is that when you create this rectangular frame the image is automatically adjusted and aligned in the center that's the plus okay now everything is done so what you need to do you simply go to file export pdf and create a pdf okay and simply press export and here we can see that within a matter of minutes we have created 20 business card within no time so this was just an example you can basically use this option as per your requirements and i hope that this tutorial must be very helpful for you in your designing work thanks for watching